what do I eat in a day? So I'm going to run down my favorite foods that I typically eat because I would say I'm a fairly boring eater and I would say that I eat about the same things every day. So it makes this episode fairly easy. I will say that I have some rules of thumb that I follow when it comes to eating. One of those is really focus on single ingredient foods. And I don't say that I always do this, but this is one of my main rules of thumb. And the second one is making sure that we eat a lot of home cooked meals because we can control what we're putting in our food. Those two principles right there can take you a long way. And then also just making sure that you cook with a quality fat, typically something that's stable with high heat. I've been using tallow and that seems to work pretty well. My wife likes to use olive oil, even though I don't necessarily recommend olive oil, but want to stay away from those seed oils uh, that can be toxic to our health. So let me just get into it. Now, what I want to do is show you a typical day for me within Chronometer. So I'm going to share my screen, not affiliated with Chronometer at all. This is their dashboard and you can use it as much or as little as you want. You can get into sleep. You can get into you know, showing sort of your weight trend through the years or through the months. Uh, and I just think it's a simple platform, but there's other ones out there. My fitness pal is great as well. And so let's just go through a typical day, uh, in the life of eating for Brian Grin. Let's go to my diary. And then in here, you can sort of categorize each, you know, each meal. And I'm going to start with breakfast. Let me get rid of that. Okay. And uh, we'll go to foods. Now, these are some of my favorite foods that I typically eat. So you can have sort of a favorite column. If you have to search, you just search all. Um, and you can pretty much find any food you want. I usually start my mornings with some tea. So that's probably not in there, but that is minimal caloric intake. Um, I've gotten away from coffee, just was too sensitive to caffeine. And so I have sort of a non-caffeinated tea in the morning, do some work. And then I typically start with my meal, maybe around 9, 930. And that is blueberries. I usually do a cup of blueberries. So we will add that. There we go. And it shows up as breakfast right there. So a couple blueberries, uh, 21 grams of carbs, uh, minimal protein and 84 calories. Now, again, it's not an exact science here. Every foods are a little bit different, but just gives you approximation when you're dealing with single ingredient foods though, it makes it a lot easier because you know, typically an apple is the same everywhere for as far as caloric intake. Although there are some really big ones and some really small ones, and you can sort of approximate that here, but I have a couple blueberries usually some Greek whole milk yogurt, typically around, I would say a cup to a half a cup. We'll just put a cup to make it easy. There we go. I'm going to add in, this is, I usually have a decent amount of fruit in the morning, banana. Uh, and I've added in, um, this extra meal. I used to only have about two meals a day, but I found I wasn't eating enough. And once I started tracking for my, my size and my activity level. So I think it's important. And, and when I start working with a client, we go through this and at least track for four to seven days, because then you'll have a good idea of where you're at. Now, Papa Steve's no junk, raw protein bars. Occasionally I'll add these in uh, It's sort of a splurge. Um, but you know, sometimes I'll add in protein bars it's an easy way for me to bring my calorie count up. And I'm typically aiming for probably around 2,500 calories in that range. Uh, sometimes I'm less, sometimes I'm, I might be more. I'd say I'm, I'm probably average around 2,000 to 2,500, uh, which some people would say is actually low. I'm about 5'11", 180 right now. Um, but either way, this Papa Steve's, I like a big fan of the brand. Um, no affiliation with any of these companies. And we're going to add that. So banana, blueberries, some whole grit yogurt, and a Papa Steve's no junk raw protein bar. I would say that's about what I have. So occasionally I'll add a little bit more, just sort of see how I feel, but that's a good place to start. So I added in this meal, uh, about six to 700 calories. Um, we got 44 grams of protein. And as far as protein targets is concerned, I typically try to go, you know, I weigh about 180. And so I would say anywhere from 0.7 to one gram per pound of protein. So that could be anywhere from, you know, 
weigh 180, I could get up to 180 grams of protein down to about 150, probably in that range is what I aim for. Lunch, lunch is sometimes tricky for me. I usually work out midday and then come back and, and, and have my lunch. And that could be uh, numerous things. Uh, sometimes I do have eggs. So we're going to add in eggs. Typically, I'll do four of them. This is just, there we go, four. So 24 grams of protein, getting some good fat. Um, and I'm definitely not trying to avoid carbs. We want to have carbs in our life. I think for a while I thought I should avoid them. And if you've listened to any of my interviews with Jay Feldman or Georgie Dinkoff, carbs can play a critical role in metabolism, in energy levels, and glucose metabolism. Just avoiding them altogether, I think, for the long term. For some individuals, cause issues with thyroid and increased stress hormones and things like that. But we're not going to get all into that. But I'm all for if you are starting to add in some carbs, just start slowly, which is what I did with fruit. So we got the eggs. Typically with the eggs, I have, I might have avocado. Is that in there? Nope. So we have to add that to the list. Okay, there we go. Avocado. Is that right? That seems, oh, here we go. Raw. Okay. So we'll add that in there. That seems a bit high for one avocado, <laughs> 364 grams of, so we're going to delete selected items. Okay. We won't put avocado in there for right now. I don't know why it's having trouble coming up. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Haas avocado. There we go. That's more along the lines of one avocado. So get some healthy fat in there. Add that to my favorites and add that to the diary. So there we go. Eggs with avocado, and I might have a little bit of a protein shake as well. Again, I add in protein shakes and protein bars just to allow me to increase my calorie count in an easy way. It's a convenient way. I wouldn't necessarily, if you can have actual food, that would be great. Uh, but sometimes I like to add in uh, a shake from time to time. So sometimes I'll do casein, collagen. So we'll add in a casein chocolate protein. Uh, that'll help get the protein count up. Add that. I also usually have that with coconut milk. And here we are right there. A cup of that. Okay. We're getting there. And uh, typically, don't really have a ton of snacks. Um, you know, this day's a little bit on the lighter side right now. But dinner is usually, I would probably say recommend your bigger meals go earlier in the day just for digestion purposes. But sometimes uh, dinner you know, typically is my bigger meal. Usually my wife and I cook. She loves to cook, but maybe we'll throw in a baked potato in there from time to time. And you can sort of decide how big it is, which is, you know, you could weigh it or just approximate. We'll say about a medium size. Add in that. And we typically like to eat early. We're early bird special. It's a 5.30 on average. And so baked potato, we usually do, uh, there's a great, company called Force of Nature. My wife likes to make their meatballs. So typically about four meatballs is what I, I go with. That's my go-to. So we'll add that. Um, so we're getting there. Protein counts getting up. Carbs and protein are balancing out. That's about right for me. Fat's getting to the higher end. Now you can have targets when it comes to protein, carbs, and fat. With protein and carbs, maybe try to do about a one-to-one -one ratio <clears throat> and then fat a little bit lower than that. Next is, you know, we use palmini a lot. <clears throat> I, would, I wouldn't be totally opposed to having pasta from time to time, but we have palmini. And that should be, yeah, right here. So we'll have that, which is a lower carb um, hearts of palm linguine. So... If you're really used to pasta and you want to try something like this, definitely. We don't mind it. I think the taste is good, uh, but you know that's up to you. After that, we usually have maybe one more side, maybe a, a vegetable. So we do like asparagus, so we're going to add asparagus. Uh, we cook it, but okay, cooked from fresh. There's not much in asparagus, really. <laughs> At least it's showing here. Um, we usually maybe put it with a little bit of butter. So we'll put it with that. Okay. So cup of asparagus with some butter. 
add that. You know, see, right now I'm coming up a bit short. So, uh, but usually I do have like an after meal snack, if you want to say. It's like, I like to say like a healthy dessert, sort of my splurge time. And sometimes if I feel like I'm a little bit low, I might add a bar in there. I do like this Nuco, this Coconut Crunch cereal. So I usually do about a cup of that, give or take. And we'll add that. So that'll be like um, my splurge. It's it, You can look it up. It's called Nuco Coconut Crunch. It's pretty much just cereal but not cereal without the grains. Really, I, I try to avoid grains at all costs. They just don't sit well with me. Um, and we're going to add in the milk. Yeah, so right now, you know, if, you, if, I'm, if I'm looking at this, you know, I'm, I'm getting up the calorie count, but protein's still a little bit low. You know, on a day like today, I might throw in another bar. I do have a few different bars. Maybe I'd probably at this point occasionally have like um, at night, maybe like an orange or something as well if I want to try to get my calorie count out, even though it's not like you're having a ton with an orange. So as you can tell, when you're eating whole single ingredient foods, sometimes it's not so easy to get all those calories in. I have been adding in orange juice from time to time, fresh orange juice. Um, but we're going to put just a regular orange in there. <clears throat> you know, there you pretty much have it. From there, I might add in just a protein bar. And that would be my day of eating, which a little bit on the low side right now. So, um, Papa Steve's. And I have a few different flavors, so I, I just added this one in there. And they're homemade bars, and I do enjoy them. They take a little while to get to you, but there you go. And so that helped get the protein count up a bit, almost at 140. So that's a good amount if I weigh about 180. And got the calorie count to 23, 28. Carbs and protein, almost one-to-one, -one, a little bit more carbs today. And then uh, fat about 122 grams of fat there. So that is a typical day right there for Brian Grin as far as eating is concerned. And it's good to see it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while. So it's, I, just looking at this now, I, it gives you an idea. Um, and obviously some days are more. Some days might be a touch less. But I would try to, if, if you feel like you've been doing a lot of fasting and low carb um, and, you know, maybe – you know, hormones are struggling or you're struggling with energy, um, yeah, adding in a little bit of carbs, uh, might be the trick, but I would start slowly, which is what I did. And then I added it in this first meal. So, so yeah. And, uh, if you're interested or you have any questions, feel free to email me, brian at briangrid.com. But that was a typical day, like for me, as far as eating. So try to stick to single ingredient foods, Cook for yourself. If you could cook it, obviously something like tallow or ghee or butter, those are optimal. And occasionally I will say that, you know, we do cook in olive oil, but try not to have it on too high heat. And that's what I want to touch on today. So um, hopefully this will give you an idea of what I eat. Again, everyone's a little bit different. You might be sensitive to certain things and then I'm not, but uh, these seem to, to go well with me. I'm, I'm, I typically add a little bit of dairy and not a ton with yogurt. But other than that, um, you know, try to avoid grains um, and focus on, you know, quality fruit, um, quality proteins, and adding in some, you know, single ingredient carbs sources, maybe potato, um, occasional rice, and uh, vegetables and fruit as well. So that's all I got for you today. If you want my step-by-step -step blueprint on how to get your body back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago without rearranging your life, click the first link below. If you enjoyed this content, YouTube thinks you'll like this next video.